Itor. Ah, my friend. I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. If you need a favor, just tell me. Well, yes. A small one. A mercenary and old friend of mine has gotten himself captured. So you'd like me to free him? Sadly, I'm no longer able to do these things myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him to the beach. I've left a boat there for him to escape. Tell me where to look for him. He's in a military camp, just north of here. Why are you so worried about the mercenary? He's a friend. Didn't I do the same for you? Remember that trouble you and Marcos got into? Yes, yes, you're right. If we're not going to look out for each other, who will? Time to go get your friend. There he is. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. 
You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You deceived me! You asked me to rescue him just so you could kill him. I didn't lie. Just omitted some details, that's all. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? Despite what either of you did, this won't bring her back. It will make me feel better. And that's all that's important to you in the end, isn't it? Easing your conscience. You think killing him will make you feel better? I guarantee it won't. And it sounds like she wouldn't have wanted either of you to get hurt. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Fuck your sorry! You destroyed my life that night. But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you... Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. I'm just glad all those years with me didn't drop off on you. Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia. You have a chance to make a new life. Use it. Something's in the way.
I'll keep a sharp watch here. Ah! <laughs> 
can you take? I'll kill you and your family! <laughs> My good deed for the day. I don't think I should brave that water in this boat. Islands, two sides of the same coin. Thelos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Thelos. Read me the note again. Eagle bearing Mystios, that's you. Otharkis, cruel leader of Delos Islands, takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths. All to feed his inset insetti insatiable. Yes, his insatiable thirst for power. Podarkis is one of them, Barnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels who'd pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. I should go. There's work to be done. Gods forbid we enjoy a single moment on this glorious beach! Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast, and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Odarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Odarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! Uh, we don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north, until one day they sent two maidens and five of their men to Zelos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said. <clears throat> Eagle bearing mist. The short version, please. Odarkis, cruel leader, thirst for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any immediate departures. Duh, that was Cephalonia. And that was mostly your fault. Ha-ha! <laughs> Kere, Alexios! Kere, Varnavas.
There's the rebel hideout. Seems like a good place for a hideout. I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself, dressed in a dirty disguise? Do I really look like a spy to you? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Delos was the heart of the Diliagi League. Athens is pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Delos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarchis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. 
I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Alexios, and Sparta too. Podarkis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Thaletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos. Not it's long their camp you. we're headed to, isn't it? Thaletas long. needs our help now, though he never admitted. Sounds Spartan, all right. I should talk to this Spartan. Ah, you fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Alexios, the one I told you about. They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. 
We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you! But you're a general! To those men now, you need to think with your head! All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows! We didn't come here to hide! We came here to fight! And we will! But right now we're outnumbered! We must be strategic! Alexios, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Then let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Duh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Alexios. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. This is going to be a long rebellion. Alexios, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first. And you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Bodarkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life. Podarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away, and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. <laughs> in the ruins on Delos? It's not much of a stockpile anymore. What? Why? I've already been there. That's wonderful! And? Did you make Podarkis feel our sting? Podarkis' guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle. To live, to love... Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Alexios do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common?
I know you struggled to get where you are. You've had to fight and claw for everything you have. I know, because I've done the same. We're survivors. I'm glad the gods brought you to our shores, Alexios. Some time alone would be nice. You must have many tales. It's time we got going. When Podarkis learns of what happened on Nilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Kere. What's with all the whispering? Shh! If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? I am. Yes, you are. Many whispers of your deeds, Mystios. Many whispers. Many secrets, too. About the rebel girl. If you know something, spit it out! If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house, near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. This woman was killed. Left in the open, without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. A note was left behind. A warning from Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both. Why kill a child, unless it was his? Shh! They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls, engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K. The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means? By the gods! Podarkis is Kira's potter. Very wise, Mistyos. Very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you. Never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Mistyos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this. My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Podarkis. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her pater. Podarkis made me send her away. But she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who he works. If Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house, I'm going to find it. I'm there's the doll.
This place is well guarded. Need to be careful. Step up! Guards! The gods can't help you now! Kept the doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with the letter P for father. Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Mistyos? Kira, there is something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! This can't be. Gira, I'm sorry. He took everything from me. How do you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through mother's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. 